What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at some new gaming news. This gaming news is for Overwatch 2, and they are having a new collaboration in their newest season with Gentle Monster, and it is giving D.Va her new skin and a new gun skin as well. And there is also a real-life product which is coming, uh, which you can buy in real life, but the skin doesn't look all that exciting. I don't think it looks that good. It just looks like a... Vaporwave Diva Mech with like just a pink like suit. I don't know. It seems very similar to the original Diva with not much changes. So I'm not that big of a fan of it to be fair, but there is a real product coming which comes in blue and pink. And it is some Diva glasses and it does have a little Diva sat on the right side of it, which can sort of be a bit weighty because it does look like it's made out of metal. It does look heavy, so I do imagine it is gonna be weigh your head down to the left. Um, I don't know. I just don't see much point in this. The D.Va goggles look really cool. I just wish it didn't have that metal D.Va sat on the side. Um, but these are being made by Gentle Monster. I do believe they're like 200 to 300 pounds. They're quite expensive for what they are, and Overwatch is making brand deals just as much as Fortnite is, or they're starting to anyway. But, yeah, the skin doesn't look that interesting, but there was so much promotion around it. They made, like, photo photos, they made an AI sort of head filter thing of D.Va, uh, but I just don't think it's that interesting, to be fair. We do also have a new D.Va skin, which is in the item shop, which looks very similar, but just in a grey. And we're also getting a nerf for the newest character, because everyone is complaining that she's too overpowered. I did have a couple of comments in my last Overwatch video saying that she was really overpowered, and I haven't had the chance to use it yet, although in the Game Pass uh, rewards, I have unlocked all of the Overwatch 2 new characters. But the Vault, we have some new skins coming back. We have an Inception game mode here, uh, which looks like you can play as Ryan Hart, Lucio, Tracer, against a couple of Omnic robots. And then we also have the Battle Pass skins, obviously, with a new Battle Pass coming out, with a new Hero coming out. We have a couple of skins. This Winston isn't that exciting. This Torbjorn, again, isn't that exciting. They just look like older versions of the characters. It doesn't look very creative, to be fair. I think they're recolors of other, like, older skins. This one's cool. I like the sort of stone, uh, mossy Roadhog. I think that's a really cool one and very unique compared to the others. Uh, this, this is another nothing skin. This is, like, a, a very weak addition to the Battle Pass. Um... It's just added a couple of spikes onto a character. This one's just a brown recolor. This one isn't even anything new. This is just an actual recolor, which I find a very lazy for Overwatch skins, especially for it to be in the Battle Pass. However, I do like this Robot Farah. This Robot Farah looks really cool. They've completely robotized her, uh, as you can tell by the head. But then we also have the new hero in like pajamas, which I think is a very creative skin as well. Very pastel colors with the blue and the pink. It looks quite cool. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of this one. We also have Sombra as a robot, I do believe she's called, uh, which is a nice purple and green. I do like that color scheme. It's a very good clash between them. And then we have a robotic Anna. Um, I don't play as Anna that often, so I'm not too fond of this one. But other than that, I'm quite excited to get back into Overwatch now that I've unlocked all the characters. So you'll be seeing a couple of videos of me playing as them, and I'll do a whole video on them. But other than that, hope you enjoyed. See you on the next one. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.